We're back with more Detective Pikachu. We've just uncovered the underground area. Let's find out what's happening over here, shall we? All right, where are we? Where are we? Let's look around over here. Look, Pikachu, it's Trevenant's leftovers from lunch. Yup, Trevenant chowed down on this and went berserk. That Gengar brought it here to hide it. Okay, fascinating. What's over here? It's quite an old notebook containing research records. It looks like it's from before PCL was rebuilt. There's a signature. John Walls. Oh my gosh. Hmm, I've seen that name somewhere before. For now, let's just give it a read. Alright, here we go. The substance that makes the Pokemon stronger. I combine the necessary materials and let it mature for a day, but the resulting medicine has a different effect than what I had anticipated. Okay, I built the basement so I would have a more stable environment to conduct experiments in. As expected, being underground has made my work easier due to a stable temperature, and yet I can't seem to achieve the kind of results I'm aiming for. My goal was to energize the Pokemon in order to boost their healing abilities, but the effects so far have been too strong. Still, I won't give up. I'll complete my all-purpose medicine no matter what. Well, that's good. Like, he has good intentions to make some of this medicine, but, like, what is going on? Uh, difficulties. Today's batch had an even more pronounced effect than normal. When I checked, I was told this batch had been left to mature for a whole week. It seems Simon misunderstood my instructions or something. But this is the exact opposite effect from the medicine I hope to complete. I must find a way to stabilize its effects. Who's Simon? I've been tricked. The cells I obtained were not from that Pokemon. Uh, that is most likely why we can't get the effects to stabilize. I never suspected that the cells were from... <gasps> well, what cells did he use? The writing is smudged. I can't read it. The rest of the journal is torn away, too. Oh my gosh, what? He's taking cells from another Pokemon? Whoa, cool. What's this? Look, we found what we've been looking for. A vial? Let's set it in that machine. According to the log we saw earlier, this machine is apparently used to produce R. This is what my dad was after. Yep, the culprit must have figured out Harry was on to them at some point. What a fiend. I swear I'll find whoever did this and get them to talk. Okay. Uh-huh, yep, yep. Uh-huh, yep. Yep, your dad was after that. Sure, thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, okay, Pikachu. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Hmm. Research log. Vile. Who could run experiments at that time? <laughs> A bolt of brilliance! I know the culprit. Yes, care to indulge? Tim, you know who it is, right? It's that person. Oh, that person, Pikachu? Yeah, yeah, I know that person. All right, I expected nothing less from you. What's the evidence? Woof. I mean, it could be the old research log. I know how you feel, but isn't there some better evidence? How about the new research log? That's right, the research log. According to the date and time, the culprit was in the basement when we came to PCL. Yeah, like, I know this. Go on. But the information we got here isn't enough to prove it on its own. We need one last piece of evidence. One last piece of evidence? Yeah, we need evidence that the culprit was in this room at that time. There's a place where we can go check on that outside of this room. You're being a... Oh, we can go check the security cameras. Yeah, I wanted to see your deductive prowess. All right, let's get out of this basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go take a look. Let's go... We can go take a look at the... Uh, surveillance cameras in the front room and then if we find out that everyone's accounted for besides one person then that one person was inside this room it's like we're playing among us over here <laughs> who's the imposter hey can we have a look at the footage from the surveillance cameras oh of course yeah good thinking tim you're gonna check the video from yesterday right exactly come on let's have a look mm, so there's people there's the people who came first all right, so that's Dorothy, Nina, and Fridge. That just leaves Carlos Wallace. First in was Dorothy, and then Nina and Fridge came in. Let's check the next record. That's Wallace. Wallace going into the library. He went into the library, okay. Uh, and came right back out. Maybe he was hiding the passcode chart? Most likely, he went into the meeting room next. That's when he put up the problem. 
He came back out, and then he went into the courtyard. That's when he locked the door, the sneaky fellow. Hey, that's Carlos coming in. He went into the library, and then Dorothy and Fridge came out of the front out to the front desk. And there's us. And then nobody except us until we open the door to the courtyard. I knew it exactly as I thought. Tim, get the records we just saw uh, printed out. I knew you'd say that, so here. A picture from the surveillance camera. Hey, good job. You picked up on the last clue really quickly, and now we can bring the culprit to justice. Yeah. Let's gather everyone. Time for our de detective skills to shine. Carlos, man, there's something about that green shirt. Listen, I'm glad you all came. Why would you gather us here like this? Sure, I'm pretty busy right now, you know? Oh, come off it. You were in the middle of a nap. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, quiet, please. Thank you. I believe I've solved the Trevenant Rampage case. Please. We already know the problem was caused by Gengar. Wrong. That whole thing was planned by someone else. And the culprit is... You tell him, Tim. Yeah, you tell him, Tim. Point that finger. Who's the culprit? It's going to be Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, it's you. What? There's no way I planned this thing. You're way off base. This is all Gengar's doing. Nice try. Playing the innocent one. Wow. Show him the proof, Tim. Go on. Okay, what's the proof? Uh, it's... Oof, what's the... Proof. Trevenant's leftovers? I mean, the red berry? I mean, I'm gonna say maybe the leftovers because they were downstairs, but what does that have to do with anything? I actually don't know. Here. That's right. Okay, good. I was gonna say. <laughs> Carlos, take a look at this. It's a berry. Yes, so I have no idea what that is. It's leftovers from Trevenant's meal. Hold on a sec. Gengar took off with those. That is true. And they were hidden in the secret underground lab. Wait, underground? Wow. Whoa, sick! This reminds me of a spy movie. A secret laboratory? I had no idea. Okay. Tell us what you learned from the leftovers, Tim. Well... They were spiked with a substance that causes Pokemon to go berserk. I found evidence. This was down in the basement. It makes Pokemon go berserk. That's why Trevenant became enraged? Whoa. Hold on. Even if this substance is the cause, you have no proof that I'm the one who created it. Don't be so sure. Go on. You've got That's this. That's right. Now Don't be so got. sure, Carlos. You're the imposter. All right, here we go. We have the research log because you made a log entry the day we got hired on board that's right take a look at this according to this research log there was an experiment being performed on june 19th at 1205 big deal so what's your point i'm getting to that <laughs> don't interrupt time, me <laughs> dorothy was out of the facility wallace was in building b both Fridge and Nina were busy working in their lab. The only person unaccounted for happens to be you. What? Hold on a minute there. Let me think. Oh, I remember. I went out for my afternoon walk. That explains exactly where I was. Man, he really doesn't know when to give up. Tim, let's finish this. Finish so him. We know. Oh my gosh. Well, we have a surveillance camera image of you with a timestamp. That's right. Let's see how he squirms out of this one. Are you sure about that? Surveillance shows you enter the library and never leave. So how could your walk take place in the library? I'll answer that one. It can't. Therefore, the one who was in the secret lab, it was you. Wow. suppose there's nothing more I can say. But Carlos, why would you do that? Because this kid got in my way. He's Harry Goodman's son. Harry Goodman's son? 
Tim Goodman is my real name. Sorry I lied to you. My dad was in an accident two months ago, and it happened right around here. I followed the clues to this place. Carlos knows. Don't you? Tell us what happened. All right. He knew too much. I had someone tamper with his car as a warning. Whoa. But I swear, I never expected him to go missing in an accident. You're the one who's responsible. <clears throat> Where's my dad? Tell me! Come on, say something! It's because of you my dad Calm is... down, Tim. I know you want answers, but... But what? He won't be able to escape anyway. We should leave the rest to the police. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah, you're right, Pikachu. Yo, that just got real for a second there. I don't know. Well... Carlos, the entire time, that green shirt, I'm telling you, don't ever trust the guy with a gr neon green shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. We'll take this man into custody. The police will be handling the matter from here on out. Thank you very much. Carlos, I expected more. Gengar goes wet. Oh, you're the Tim I've been hearing so much about. Baker mentioned you more than a few times. Sorry I investigated this on my own. Uh, no need to apologize. If we had made more progress on our own, it would have been easier for you to sit by. I'm just happy you're safe. Thanks. Anyway, do you think you could let me know what you find out from Carlos's interrogation? Yeah, I give you my word. I'll see you. And I'll see you too, Pikachu. Yeah. You know what I think? Baker already knows, too, about our investigation. That's all right. It's best to be honest about it all. Yeah. Wow. I headed to Baker's office with Pikachu. As long as I get some more sweets for Pikachu, I gotta feed him, you know? All right, Baker. I received word from the inspector. Appears it wasn't a part-time job after all. You went there to investigate. Even after I told you to stay out of trouble, you chose not to listen to me. I'm sorry. There was just something I needed to find out. I know exactly how you feel. Believe me. But no good can come of it if you're harmed. I'm just glad nothing happened to you. I understand. So, from now on, I'd like you to let me know before you go rushing off to investigate something. What? No point in telling you to stop. That sure doesn't seem to work. And I'll admit that you do have some talent. I'd rather know what you're up to instead of having you run around in secret. Not to mention, I can help you. Wow. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. <laughs> Congrats, Tim. Congratulations to you. Thanks. I heard from the inspector that you really <laughs> saved the day at PCL. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. It wasn't. So, you really do take after Harry. The boss said so, too. Pikachu, are you eating the sweets again? Oh, well, I suppose it's okay this time. Oh, good. Well, in that case. Hold on, <laughs> that's way too many. How many times do I have to tell you? Those sweets are meant for the clients. You said it was okay for me to have some. Oh, wow. A box of macarons. All right, we decide to head back to the apartment to connect the dots in this series of incidents. Connecting the dots. Hey, Tim. All right, Pikachu. What a long day. What do you make of today's case? We found some clues on Dad, but more questions too. According to the research log, someone brought someone bought R from Carlos. That's right. Even if it was Carlos who caused Harry's accident, there is much more going on behind the scenes. This investigation isn't becoming any more safe. But I'm sure we're getting closer to the truth. I'm glad to, uh, that I have you around. Huh? Why so surprised? I know my skill is what finally won us the day, but you saved me many times too. And when I fell from Murkrow's nest, when Gengar attacked me... Thanks. By the way, Tim, when did you start to suspect Carlos was the culprit? When I saw his green shirt! Mm, let's see. When we arrived during the experiment, when Trevenant went berserk, when we found the basement... 
Yeah, as soon as I saw him, I knew it. Come on, that was right after we got there. We hadn't even met him yet. <laughs> I'm joking, Pikachu. Still, I feel restless sitting around here and waiting. Yeah, do you want to go? What? It's not like we can participate in the interrogation, but we can go for a bit of a drive. Come on. Cool. I, I guess we're going to go for a drive. In the convertible. <laughs> this tiny little coupe. I wonder how the interrogation is going. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure Holiday is doing his best. I wish I could find Dad. Give Mom some peace of mind. I know. <clears throat> Once they're done with the interrogation, I'm sure we'll have some more news. I can't wait. Yeah. And we've still got some work to do. You know, we make a pretty good team. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I wonder if my dad is out there somewhere in this city. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Harry, where could you possibly have disappeared to? Yeah, where did Harry go? Interesting. I mean, there's the obvious theory about Harry, but... Oh my gosh! Whoa! Look at that. You know who that is? Wow, look at that Mewtwo coming out. Yeah, I'll absolutely continue playing. You can't just leave me on a cliffhanger with Mewtwo showing up. What's the point of Mewtwo? I was reading the back of the box. The 3DS box over here. And there was a picture of Mewtwo on the back of it. So, just throwing that out there. Uh, we waited to hear from Inspector Holiday for a few days after Carlos was arrested. I wonder how the interrogation is going. Good question. But... They say no news is good news, so may as well chill out. Okay. You really worry too much. Lighten up. We came out here to clear our heads. Now you're starting to stress me out. Just look at all these bird Pokemon. Their heads are filled with nothing. A note? <laughs> what are you doing? I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> Ow, Fletchling! You have a temper almost as bad as Amanda's. Pikachu, there's something in its mouth. Let's see. What is it? It looks like it could be a letter. Thank you. <laughs> what? From Mr. Baker. There's news he needs to discuss with us. It's about time. Let's get back to the office. Come on. Yeah. Okay, tell me about that. Like... Well, I'll see you around. Me and my breadcrumbs have got somewhere to be. Hey, 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 knock it off, hey. I gotta go, right? No more bread for you today. <laughs> Stop it. So, tell me this. We're so into the past that we have to send a bird with a message to beckon someone? Are there not cell phones? What year are we in? Selgor! Oh, well, hello there, Axie. I forgot. You love these donuts, don't you? Here you go. Enjoy. Axel! Come on, hurry up! <clears throat> My legs are shorter than yours, you know. Mr. Baker, Inspector Holiday. Hey, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. We just finished with our interrogation of Carlos and wanted to fill you in. I know you're both anxious to hear. <laughs> yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah, we'll be one step closer. That's right, so let's listen up. Okay, give me the details. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting, Tim. Uh, I can give you the full breakdown of what we got from Carlos during his interrogation. Thank you very much. As it turns out, Carlos wasn't the only one responsible for the PCL case. Apparently, I was working for someone else, and this person was giving him orders on what to do. Huh? It seems that Carlos was willing to do as he was told in exchange for funding to use on our research. So this mysterious person is the one who ordered Carlos to deal with me. That's right, seems like Harry's accident was also their doing. What? Even my dad's accident, but why? Uh, tell me about Harry's accident. Until now, the reason Harry drove off the cliff was written off as driver error. 
But according to Carlos, Harry was being attacked by this mysterious figure right before the accident. Why would they do such a thing? Carlos says it's because Harry knew too much. My guess is the case uh, Harry was investigating has some connection with the mysterious person. Okay. Tell me about the mysterious person. Now, Carlos doesn't know who this person is. Communication was always via phone. And even the delivery of R was through proxies. They never met in person. Carlos had kept R a secret from other people in PCL, right? How did this other person find out about it? Carlos is wondering about that too. Any chance that Carlos is lying? Mm, well, I've been on the police force a long time. I've developed a good sense for that kind of thing, but it didn't seem like Carlos was lying. Oh, this mysterious person clearly has their own information network. Carlos has already handed over his research notes, plus the base ingredients for R. Who knows what they're planning, but they've got some very dangerous tools now. One of the base ingredients for R is the cells from a certain Pokemon. Even Carlos couldn't figure out which Pokemon, though. The police are doing their own research based off of Dr. Walls. Uh, once we have something substantial, I'll let you know. We're not any closer, man. Uh, what do you think about the results, Baker? Certainly didn't expect you to be targeted by the same culprit that attacked Harry. Right, this mysterious figure who was behind Carlos and his activities. He or she must have felt threatened that you were looking into R, but then that makes me wonder, what did Harry find out? How did Carlos know I was Tim Goodman? So you think that it was because of R that my father was attacked? I think it's possible Harry was going after the Pokemon-related incidents that have been occurring over the past six months. These Pokemon incidents, there are a lot of them in Rhyme City these days, aren't there? Uh-huh. Indeed, there's something that's been on my mind ever since I received your report on PCL. What do you mean? The fact that normally docile Pokemon suddenly became hostile and violent, it fits with the other Pokemon incidents as well, too. So you think R was using the other in incidents, too? That's right. I think that's the best explanation. So the case at PCL and Harry's accident were related after all. I want to catch this person who was working with Carlos and find my father. Of course, and I'll give whatever I uh, whatever help I can. Okay, interesting. Let's get out of here. Hey, Tim. All right, what do you got? So the one truly responsible for the PCL case was also the one who attacked Harry. If we can catch this person, maybe we can find out where my dad is. But what can we do? They didn't leave any clues behind. I've got an idea. This person has been causing incidents using R, right? So if we investigate R more, maybe we'll find out who they are and what they're up to. That makes sense. How are we going to investigate R then? We're going to speak to the developer of R. Of course, the developer would know more about R than anyone else. That's right. You know who I'm talking about? What? Um, probably Walls? I mean, Carlos was... Carlos was developing it, right? He was experimenting with it. That's right, you've got a good memory. Walls is the one who first developed the formula for R, so he must know something. Yeah, let's see if we can find Walls. Inspector. Yeah, from the old research book. We were thinking about tracking down Dr. Walls. Oh, well, that would be a good start. In fact, we just found out where he's living. It seems that he moved to Capucci Island. Capucci Island? Yeah. I planned on telling you about that as soon as it was confirmed. You know... Maybe you should go over there so you and Walls can have a chat. You're sure? Of course. I think we can trust you. Awesome. Thank you, Inspector. See what you can find out. One of my men, Brad McMaster, is on the island for another assignment. If anything comes up, he can help you. Great. I'll head over right now. Whoa, not so fast. To get to Capucci Island, there's only one ferry a day. Well, if that's the case, I know just the person to help out. I have a very bad feeling about this. Why? Hey, Amanda? Yes, sir. Here we go. I can take you to the island if you'd like. Huh? Yeah, I have a license to drive a boat. Really? Yes, please. Don't worry, it'll be a smooth ride. Uh, this is great. I do to deserve this. Be rude, Pikachu. I love the change of music. I love that Amanda's even cooler. Yo, this game is good. All right, you ready to go? What's up? I hope we can find Harry soon. Yeah, uh, if there's anything I do, let me know. Okay, Amanda's the one who was always doing rash things. How many times does she think she's grabbed my ears? <laughs> All right, like, let's... 
I'm ready to go, man. I don't really want to talk to anyone anymore. I just want to get to the island. <laughs> Tell me about Harry. He solved a lot of different cases together with Pikachu. Well, it was my partner after all. I bet he must be a great detective too. Yeah, the boss trusted Harry completely too. Yeah, the boss is very calm and caring and our clients all respect and trust him. That explains why this office is so pleasant. Uh, Holiday is a friend of the boss's. They met at the police academy, apparently. It's so cool that they're still good friends. Yeah, Holiday drops by often. Uh, do you go for boat rides often? Only sometimes. I really enjoy the feeling of speed. Uh-oh, I think my bad hunch might be true. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I'll get the boat ready. Do you think you could wait for me at the cafe? Sure. Okay, uh, so we're really going with Amanda, huh? Oh well, come on, let's go. Yes. Why does Pikachu not like boat rides? Does he get, like, seasick or something? Anyone but Amanda. Oh. Amanda's awesome! Stop being so dramatic. It was really nice of her to offer. Easy for you to say, because you don't know what you're getting into. <sighs> okay, Ludicolo, stop mumbling. At least someone's happy today. What's with Ludicolo? Yeah, I don't know. Seems happier than usual, right? The Pokemon Carnival? What is that? A carnival. Whoa, that was a good guess. Yeah, the Pokemon Carnival. Ludicolo and I are really pumped. So, what is it? Ah, I thought you knew about it. Well, the Pokemon Carnival is the biggest festival in Rhyme City. People and Pokemon from all over the world come to it, and things can really heat up. The parade at the end is the best part. Here, we'll give you a little preview. Yeah. Wow. That performance doesn't quite sell it for me. Yo, Pikachu, dude, that's so funny. Yo, the man is dancing right over here. This man is straight dancing. He gets so excited when he thinks about the carnival. Well, tell me about the Pokemon Carnival. The Pokemon Carnival is the biggest festival in Rhyme City. People come from near and far to see it. Um, some even come from abroad. Well, I hope we get to see it. See it? You've got to join in on the fun. I'll even be showing off my special dance. Pikachu has a special dance? I want to see it. Ludicolo is good at dancing. Isn't she? We practice every day together. Huh, I hope he's not forgetting he has a business to run. Capucci Island. Uh, do you know what kind of place it is? Yeah, I hear it's a perfect island to relax on. It's supposed to have a beautiful lake, too. Uh, it'll be a nice change of pace from Rhyme City. And uh, the coffee's delicious, as always. Seems a bit more tart than usual. Huh, tart? Oh, I'm glad you noticed. Since the festival's coming up, I thought I'd make the beans dance a bit, too. And ground them rougher than usual. Okay. And Ludicolo, you're just gonna be happy. Why do I even bother talking to you? Ludicolo's good at dancing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Captain. Ludi, Ludi, okay, great. Yeah, you don't know much, but uh, you'd like to visit uh, if it's a fun place? Okay. I hope you and Pablo can go someday. Have you ever participated in the Pokemon Carnival, Ludicolo? Uh, they go every year, without exception. Now, that's what you call commitment. Okay, they go every year. And then there's a there's a, a patron here. Hello, did you need something from me? <laughs> this is some random kid standing over me. <laughs> tell me about the Pokemon Carnival. It's a very lively festival, I can't wait. Okay, tell me about Kabuchi Island. Uh, I hear it's warm all year. Tell me about the store. Pablo's Coffee is the best in Rhyme City. Why talk to these patrons? Get me out of here. Amanda should be coming soon. Soon, we should head out. And so we went out to Capucci Island to ask Walls about R. How do how are we gonna find Walls? Doesn't this feel fantastic? This boat has four hundred horsepower, yeah. you know. I can feel that. <sighs> this is what I was worried about. Come on, Tim. Can't you tell her to slow it down? Pika, Pika! Pika. It sounds like Pikachu's having a good time. You know what, Amanda? <laughs> Maybe you could pull this down a little bit? What do you mean? You want to get to the island quickly, don't you? Not a problem. Let's go! Yeah. Do it. Floor it, man. Amanda's the best. Outside of Amelia, Amanda, right there. I mean, Amelia doesn't this really do much. This is such a lovely place. I think I just need to feel solid ground. Pikachu, how are you doing? Actually, I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> you 
You two seem a bit dizzy. Is everything okay? We'll survive. Come on, Tim. Uh, yeah, we'll be on our way, Amanda. Sure thing. Once I reach uh, the boss to let him know we got here safe safely, I'll help look for Mr. Walls. Okay, well, apparently we gotta go find Walls' house. Now, let's go find Walls' home and gather testimony in town. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Great. Yep, let me write that down, Pikachu. Okay, got it, got it. Find Walls' house. <laughs> find his home. That's a perfect uh, little stopping point right here. So, we gotta go. We made it to Capucci Island thanks to the help with Amanda. We've got to go Hi find out where Walls is. What does he look like? Where does he live? I mean, we're in the day and age where there's really, really high technology, but we can't look up something on our smartphones because Tim doesn't own a smartphone. We have to get messages from birds. <laughs> but yet, there is confirmation that cell phones exist because Carlos was talking to the mysterious person in the middle of the alley a couple while episodes ago. I don't even know. But anyway, you guys are awesome. We'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of Detective Come Pikachu. Here. See ya.